Do you know that on a round trip between London and New York, flying from London to New York takes average of 8 hours, while flying from New York to London takes just 6 hours? It's actually the same distance, the same aircraft through airspeed, but now saving less time, less fuel, and less money for the airline. It's your aviator captain, Austin. Watch this video and understand how these interesting and many more interesting scenarios I'll be discussing about plays out. But for the London New York trip, the reason for the difference in timing is simply an atmospheric phenomenon called jet stream. What are they? There are ribbons of strong winds playing at over 400 km per hour during winter period, just like many weather patterns. Jet streams are caused by differences in pressure and temperature around the globe. As hot air rises, it creates low pressure, while the cold air sinks and creates high pressure. This then generates a differential pressure that forces the air molecules to move from west to east in consonance with the Earth's rotation. The bigger the differential pressure, the stronger the wind. Because of this, pilots always avoid the jet stream headwind by sacrificing to take a longer route as long as it can guarantee a shorter travel time. This saves the airline a lot of money, fuel and time. On the other hand, when flying in a jet stream tailwind, aircraft flying from west to east across the Atlantic gets a significant boost in speed which saves the airline fuel and time. This perfectly explains the scenario why it took a shorter travel time from New York to London than coming from London to New York, even when the aircraft through airspeeds were the same. Now, talking about the fuel economy of jet stream, for a Boeing 747 that burns over 14,000 liters of fuel per hour, what it implies is that for the New York-London trip, it saved 28,000 liters of fuel, which is over $6,000. Another point is fuel jettison also known as fuel dumping. It is the intentional dumping of fuel in the sky when the aircraft is flying. that is fully loaded with over 50,000 liters of fuel together with the weight of human beings and their luggages and the weight of the aircraft itself we place a lot of stress on the aircraft during landing in a flight pilot will achieve safer and smoother landing by burning excess fuel in the course of the journey but when it happens that the aircraft is under emergency he is expected to dump this excess fuel for him to achieve a safe landing Fuel dumping isn't a normal process performed by airlines, it only happens in an emergency situation when the pilot is expected to land the aircraft as soon as possible. Aircraft has two weight limits, the maximum landing weight and the maximum takeoff weight. For a routine flight, the aircraft takes off at a higher weight, burns the fuel and arrives the destination with a weight that must not exceed the maximum landing weight. In the event of a mechanical failure or passenger medical emergency, the aircraft is still carrying fuel more than the intended quantity needed for landing. What it does is to jettison this excess fuel to ensure it has a safe landing to avoid any structural damage. What pilot does is to press the dump button and dump some fuel from the sky until it achieves the amount needed for landing. To execute a successful fuel dump, the pilot will first notify the air traffic controller who will then vector the aircraft to a safe dumping area where he can dump it and it must be free from traffic. Dumping is also done at an altitude high enough to vaporize the fuel and dissipate it before reaching the ground. Furthermore, the dumping must not be done in a populated area to avoid the possibility of an explosion if the fuel did not properly vaporize before reaching the ground. Another fact is the white paint in the sky. It's a thing of beauty to behold the white lines trailing the aircraft while flying in the sky, but it is just a trail of condensation.
name is contrails and it happens when water vapor condenses around the smoke coming from the engine exhaust and freezes to form those beautiful white lines you see gracing the sky. That is it for today with some aviation facts. It's your aviator captain Austin. Subscribe to my channel, click the bell button for notifications, share and like. See you next week for another presentation. Bye.